And let's take a look at the config area. So we use upstream Ceph, and uh, to modify the Ceph.conf, we will use the GUI. We also have a useful option to search and do mouse overs. So for example, if I wanted to see anything MDS related, uh, this would show us all of the options that we could choose from. We'll show you the default value as well. And for anything that you see, you can do a mouse over and get a description of what that setting actually is. For the networks that we set up at the initial installation, um, or if we need to create any additional networks day two, uh, we would be able to make those modifications here. Keys, this is our Ceph keys. So if we needed to create any new users, we would be able to do so. If we needed to modify users, we would be able to do so here as well. You can also set limitations of the pools. Set the type as well and what the permissions are. Templates. This is a pretty important topic. Um, so we are opinionated about how we package and manage Ceph and common Ceph components but we still offer full flexibility in the form of templates. For example, we use Samba for SMB shares, but if you need advanced features that our GUI does not provide uh, from Samba, you can modify the template here. So any one of these you would be able to modify. We use the handlebars scripting language that you see here, and you can find information about that um, by going to uh, Google and just typing in handlebars scripting. Additionally, we have hook scripts, uh, which are help with uh, event-driven items and integration. So for example, um, if you need to install tools on the Croit nodes um, or need to kick off a task that has happened, um, you can set up a hook script here. Um, a good example would be if you need to install a corporate security tool at boot up, uh, we would be able to do that um, via a script. Um, or if you are wanting to do a sync of a snapshot and you have a task scheduled for that, well, at the event that the snapshot completes, you would be able to then kick off a job to do whatever you're needing to do for a sync. We also have a library of common integrations like Slack and Discord. Um, and then we can also send SNMP. Server access, um, you can change the passwords to get into the nodes themselves. You can also add your SSH keys uh, so that you can directly log into those uh, Croit Ceph nodes. <laughs> 